Auto Value Parts Stores has the parts you need for your car, truck, boat, or RV. With eight locations in the Finger Lakes, including Canandaigua, Auto Value can help you find the parts you need, like motor oil for that do-it-yourself oil change, electrical wiring and lighting for your trailer. We even make customer-specific hydraulic hoses. Auto Value stocks everything that racer in your family needs. Let us help you locate your part or search online at autovalue.com. Hanging out with Mike Welch here today. Last week, we learned a little about suspensions on modifieds. Of course, there's been a lot of innovations there over the years. We got you up to speed. Mike Welch, of course, drives the street stock here. Things are a lot different underneath the rear end, and as an 11-time champion, he knows all about it. So I guess, Mike, we'll start at the center and work our way out. First thing I notice, it is not a quick change rear end. It is not. Uh, we're still running a, uh, a four nine inch deal. You can buy from Joe down there at close. Pretty much everybody's on that on that deal. I remember when everybody went to the nine inch. These used to be out of a car. How? When did that change? And when did these become professionally built nine inch rear ends? Uh, probably when the rules changed like six seven years ago. It's just easier to get everything from him, and it's all mounted where you need it to be, and you can pretty much put it right in the car and mm -hmm. adjust it from there. More durable or faster? Uh, more, durable. more durable. Yeah, they're a lot stronger. Okay. So if we go out from there, there's a couple of things that we're looking at here right away. Is this what's considered a four-link suspension? So it's a triangulated four-link suspension on these cars based off the, the mounts of a metric car on the, on the chassis side and on the rear end side. Okay. So as we look out, the first thing I see is not a coil, it's just a shock. You got the shock on there you'll see and then uh, there's a chain limiter we run chain limiters on all four corners and we have adjust that according to the track you can mess around with it to get more side bite less side bite depending on what your your driving style and what the car needs i remember we were covering atv drag racing for a while they would chain that down what does chaining that rear end down do it just changes the dynamics of the car of how it rolls into the corner the key one honestly is the one that's on the left front mm -hmm. which that that promotes and Side white, depending on where you got, what hole you got it in. Mm -hmm. And this is for when we're on the gas coming out, correct? Correct. Okay. So if we didn't have that on there, what would happen? You'd see a lot of guys pulling a lot of wheelies, which often you'll see some cars, not necessarily here, here at times, but some of the smaller tracks, such as Outlaw, you'll see them guys that got their left front wheel like two feet in the air. And it's cool to watch, but it doesn't make it any faster. Yeah. And it hurts you at the end of the straightaway when it comes down, because it can come down too hard, right? Right. You drop that front end out on the ground. You never know. You can break something. Well, the other thing guys have told me, too, is sometimes it can create a push, because it comes down, and for a few feet, at least, it's just going straight. Right, it shoves the nose right across the track, and then you're getting in everybody's way, and okay. if anybody's there. Do we adjust that chain? Uh, I usually got it pretty much where I want it for here and for Ransomville, because the two tracks are very similar, mm -hmm. so I don't, I don't usually mess with that here. Sometimes I do, I'll do it at home, and if I don't like it, then I'll put it back. How often are we changing the shocks themselves? Um, I'm not changing them. I change it, well, I change the left rear and the right front, depending on track conditions. Like tonight's going to be a little, right now it's tacky, so we'll run a little different shock than we'll run when it's blackens off, which I'm okay. sure that it will. Are there rules on what types of shocks and the cost and things like that, and are they revalvable? They are revalvable. Uh, we don't have a cost limit on it. This has got to be steel body mm -hmm. shock. Okay. Do we adjust the pressures then? That we can't do. We do have... We cannot do that. So no Schrader valves on there? We got what they call a blind port Schrader valve, and that's just basically so if you want to take it and go get it revalved, it's, sa it's, a, it's a safer situation to to get the gases out of it to be able to do that. Also a cost thing, we don't have to buy a new one, right? Exactly. Okay, am I missing anything under here, Mike? Because as I'm looking, um, I mean, I see the brake line we got in there. I see the, we do have a coil though. Yep, so the coil's on the back, which is next in line from the shock, and then it go, actually goes to the lower mount mm -hmm. for the lower control arms, and then it goes into your, your hubs and your brake calipers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So the biggest difference from the modifieds is just it's not on the shock. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Yep. Is that something that we change? Uh, I don't see any benefit. The late models do that. Now, but then you're getting in, you're getting in a lot of money. Then mm -hmm. these cars cost enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, and they do. Am I missing anything under here, Mike? As as we look, uh, what is that that says car bike? Is that the transponder? That is the transponder, yep. So that's what regulates the track and minor to your position on the track. And when they go yellow, obviously it goes back a lap mm -hmm. and helps them get 
everybody sorted out right back in line again so we can get right back to green. And I would imagine during one of those first tech inspections, we want to make sure that everybody has that transponder in the right place. I've heard some stories. <laughs> yeah, they're all over the place. So these are basically 12 inches from the center of the axle. That's what it is. Back okay. to the front of the transponder. Okay. Did I miss anything, Mike? No, I think you got it all. Okay. Yep. All right, so now you guys know what it looks like a little bit under there. A little bit different than what we saw in the modifieds. Not quite as much adjustability, but reliability and cost are the keys, right? Well, exactly. You know, modified, that's that's a whole different ball game there. And, uh, yeah, I try to keep it somewhat affordable to keep the classes growing, you know. Right. Appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Thank you.